back to Rocky's place. As you can see, I've got some goodies here that I'm gonna to put together. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make a Mexican shrimp cocktail. I will put the entire recipe in the details um, on this post for you. So um, just to show you, I, I'm Hispanic, I'm Mexican, Spanish, and Portuguese. I've got some other stuff mixed in me also. I'm not quite sure what it is. I'm adopted, so I don't really know that the adopted side of my family. I just know the Portuguese. I don't know what else they have. But I grew up in a Hispanic household. We had to learn how to cook. The girls, and I'm the only girl out of four boys, I had to learn how to cook. So uh, for a long time, I hated to cook, but you know, I had to cook because uh, I had kids. I was a single mom. As I got older, I learned to really enjoy cooking and just making it my own. And of course, being Hispanic, there's no such thing as not knowing how to cook. So, some of the ingredients. First and foremost, for a shrimp cocktail, you have to have your scrimps. I call them scrimps. These that I like to buy are already pre-cooked <clears throat> and peeled. They have the tail on, so I just have to take the tail off, but it's already been de-veined. Really important. If you're going to buy the raw shrimp and cook them yourself, you have to make sure you de-vein them. Then you have to peel the uh, shell off, and then you have to take the tail off. I don't want to do all that work, so I already buy it where, where half the work is done for me. Um, you have to have some clam and tomato juice. Clamato is my favorite to use because it has clam juice in it. Clam juice is really important for the flavor. Um, you can use jalapeno peppers, serrano peppers, or hot sauce. I like to use this Valentina sauce right here. They also have a, uh, this is the actual extra hot. I don't know if you can see that or not, it says extra hot. I like the Valentina. It's, it's not very expensive, really, but it has a roasted pepper flavor to it, and I like that roasted pepper taste. It's not vinegary at all, and I don't like vinegary hot sauce. I'm Hispanic, okay, so I'm real picky when it comes to chile or salsa or hot sauce. And so, and then we have our avocados. Oops. Where do I have avocado? Uh-oh, my avocado. I have another avocado that rolled off somewhere. But you're going to have your avocados. Lemon or lime. I chose lemon this time. Sometimes I do lime. It's whatever you're, you decide. Cucumbers. One to two cucumbers if you're making a small batch. Just depending upon the size of the batch that you're making. As you can see, it's going to fit into this bowl right here. So it's not a big bowl. I like the clear bowl because then you can see through it afterwards. Now well, you'll see the finished product. Um, tomatoes. I like to use Roma tomatoes because they have a nice, rich, robust flavor to them versus the other tomatoes. So I use Roma tomatoes in just about everything. Shh. My dog is in the background wanting to be on the camera. <laughs> Fresh garlic, you're gonna dice this up really fine. About three cloves. I like a lot of garlic in my food. Um, so I, I put about three to four cloves depending on the size of the, uh, the individual cloves. Onion, I chose a yellow onion this time. Red onion is another favorite of mine that I really like to use. And um, so yellow, uh, yellow onion or red onion is my preference. And then we, you've got your um, cilantro. Some people like to use um, uh, parsley, but cilantro gives it a nice flavor. And then at the end, of course, you're going to want some, hot, uh, some cocktail sauce. I don't like horseradish, so you're not going to see horseradish in my, in my ingredients. But these are the ingredients. As you can see, it's not much. It's, it's, uh, it's not very expensive, but it is extremely healthy for you. So we're going to go ahead and put this all together. Um, again, I will put the everything in the details uh, of how to put it together for you. And once you put it all together and mixed it in the bowl, then you're going to chill it for about two to three hours, and then it's ready to go and serve. So we'll see you on the other side. We're going to see what this looks like when it's all put together. Yum, yum, yum. My mouth is already watery. This is the finished product of the Mexican cocktail, uh, shrimp cocktail. This is one of my favorite meals to make. Look, mm, look at that, yo. Look at all that shrimp, cucumbers, onions. I have red onions in this, not yellow onions. Um, but you can use either one. Avocados, fresh, finely diced garlic hot sauce, some tomatoes, I love to use the Roman tomatoes like you saw in the picture, and the cucumbers, cilantro, some people like to use parsley, you know, but uh, we're Hispanic, so, you know, Mexicans, we use cilantro because it has a different flavor and it gives it a nice, fresh, robust flavor 
this is so flavor packed right here. Just look at that. Look at all those shrimps. I call them scrimps. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. So, you just get this after you put it all together. Um, oh, and the clamato sauce. Don't forget that I like to use the clamato. It's clam sauce with tomato juice. Um, I used two of them for this batch and it is delicious. Some people add a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. I have sometimes, but I didn't this time. It depends on my mood, but I, I prefer it mostly without, but some people like it with, that's okay. And so then when you're done, you put it into the refrigerator to chill for a few hours, and then when you're ready to indulge, look at that. This is a very, very healthy meal, a uh, very healthy snack. I love to just snack on this throughout the day. Mm, look at that. Oh my gosh. Give me some extra juice. Give me the juice. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> All right, y'all. Well, um, this was uh, just a quick little uh, recipe of Mexican shrimp cocktail that I used. Thank you so much for watching. Please leave your comments below. Like this video and share it with others. Um, I will put the entire recipe in the details below for you as well. And um, let me know. If you try it and you like it, please come back to my video and share it with me. Let me know if you have any additions or any tweaks that you made to it on your own. Let me know that also. Because I love to try new recipes and I love to share them with people. And I love to try other people's recipes also. All right, y'all. Well, until next time, thank you for visiting Rocky's Place, and we'll see you soon.